But if you are, like we said, a touch me not, you're asking, I don't want to rub, I don't want to even touch. On this neutral conductor, can I get charges on it without even touching it to any other charged body? Let's see if we can. First, let's confirm this is neutral. Let's touch this to that, and then we can see that there's nothing happening there. This is neutral. Let's confirm if I am neutral, I'm neutral as well. So, great. This one we've charged, though. You can take our word for it. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is now you know for sure that I could just touch this to that, touch it here. You could get charges on this. But I'm going to take it really close and then bring it over here. And nothing happens. That shouldn't surprise you. But now I'm going to take it really close, same distance. Touch this on this side, right? So I'm neutral, this is neutral, this shouldn't matter at all. Now I'm going to touch this over here and what's that? What's, what's happening, right? Two neutral bodies touch each other and suddenly this body got charged now because now, now let me touch this. I'm still neutral. But let's check what's up with this. It's still a little charged, yeah? What exactly is happening? What's your explanation for this? Think about that. Think about what's happening over here. Try and use all the ideas that you already know about how conductors work and come back. Now, I, I know that you're wondering about uh, what exactly happened here. So let's do the whole thing again, and this time slowly, watching what's happening at a deeper level, right? So let's first uh, begin to charge the sphere. Yeah. I can feel it getting, getting charged. I think we have enough charge on it, so let's... Uh, Let's switch it off. Yeah, so now this is charged. Now what we told you was that if I take this um, metal ball and if I take it really close, but not close enough for it to touch, then if I bring it out and I touched it and I showed that, nothing really happens. But now the question is, what exactly is happening when I get it really, really close? Right? Imagine, right? If this had been negatively charged, this large sphere, then, if I bring this close, then you know that this is a conductor, right? So this conductor is beginning to have its electrons want to get away because they're all getting repelled by this large negative charge. So they want to go as far away as possible. There's a lot of free electrons on this metal and they want to get as far away as possible. So do all the electrons of this move to the farthest end? That's not how it'll happen, right? Because once a few move, they're going to start repelling the other ones that are going to try and move. So they're at a point, the electrons on this side will not be able to move to the other side. So they're going to remain there. For simplicity, clearly there are about, I don't know, 10 to the power of some electrons over here. But let's imagine um, there are only like 10 electrons, right? So first two, three, four went there. Then a fifth one found it hard, so it's remaining here. Sixth one found it hard, so it's remaining here. So there are about, out of the 10 free electrons, four are here which means that this area has more free electrons than it would have had earlier. So of the free electrons, now few have come to this side, which means this has a larger number of electrons than protons. And that side has less number of electrons than protons. Even though overall it's still neutral, right? Overall this ball is still neutral. And if you take it away, it will become neutral, which is why once it is away, we've not created anything permanent. This is just a temporary charge separation that's happening in this metal. The negatives are separating to one side. The closer I get, the more is separating. But now, a simple act of touching can do a lot. Because just now you saw that uh, when I touched the electroscope, I'm earthing it, right? Given that now I'm in contact with the earth. So what's really happening over here? The electrons want to leave badly. The electrons on this side want to leave really badly. And the ones here want to leave as well. So what happens when I touch this conductor? The electrons that badly want to leave are leaving, right? But after a point, the protons get possessive and then they hold on and the electrons stop moving. So then, what has happened over here? You had some electrons, some protons, both were equal, this, this ball was neutral. But through some sneaky trick, you made it so that some of the electrons have left now. Now they can't come back. Even if you move it away, now this ball has lesser electrons than protons, which means it is positively charged. That's what we predict, right? And we've done this without touching it to any charged body, right? Because that negative charge is intact. There is a negative charge there. It's still going to be as negatively charged as it was. But in the case of conduction, you saw that you touch it. Some of that negative charge had flowed into this body. So that's negative charge reduced. It's almost like taking a mug and putting it into the water and taking some out. 
But here, you've not even touched it. Whatever negative charge was there is still there. And yet, this is got charged. This is charged now. So now let's test it out. This is like, I'm actually quite excited. I, I hope this works. There it is. It's a very mild repulsion, but yeah. So this, this did get charged. Maybe not as strongly as it did in the beginning. So if we, what we've shown is that this ball, without touching any conductor, has now got charged. Now, when you took it really close, right, those electrons moving further away, which means that there's more electron density on this side than on the other side, and more proton density on this side, means that there is effectively a negative charge here and a positive charge.